Ashcroft, we move on to the supporters' choice. So the supporters' choice, again, much like the committee, um, there's a vast amount of supporters that have came over the season and they get their opportunity to vote on who they believe was um, the best player, the player that's maybe gave everything. And people see football in different ways and goals, some people attract to other people, look for work ethic, people look for a top performance week after week. So the balance out across who actually gets the award. Um, and this season it was fairly unanimous, to be honest, amongst um, all the votes. The winner of this season's Supporters Player of the Year is club captain Stephen Cook. Imagine majority of the boys in the dressing room, this is the one that means the most to them. This is the one you get the recognition from your teammates that you've been the, the star man this season. And when you, you asked the boys it, and it was interesting to see the sort of different opinions of different players. And there was, there was a, there was a number of different folk that were nominated for this. But when you look at it and you look at the, the sort of vast volume of it, there was one clear winner with probably 80, 85% of the votes. Um, for me, it was it's, when I look at it and see it, I can understand why, because it's an individual who's prepared to give everything week after week. It's very, very rarely a poor performance, and this club is really down deep within him, and it really, really shows because every time he puts a jersey on, he's just prepared to just go and do that extra bit, and whether it's defending, scoring goals, something needs to be done, and he's the man to do it. So this year's Players Player of the Year is club captain Stephen Cook. <laughs> Okay, so we move on, we're now there down to the last two trophies. So for this one, this is um, Player of the Year. This is voted for through the management team and how we see things played out over the year. And we get an opportunity to see guys off the park, we see how they interact off the park, we see what their performance is like on the training park. Their attitude as they come out, on the, the, obviously, to, to play Super League football. The thing is, it's difficult at times is when players are here, there's such a lot of stuff that goes on during a season that at some moments you can go, he's a star man, he's been fantastic. Then it changes and then you go, I think it's him. Then it changes again. But when we make a decision on this and we look at it and we'll have to look at it collectively over the season, it came down to a couple of players that we thought had really shone this year. And I think... When, it, when we started to eat down it and we started to question one another's decision, Wall ended up coming with it the same choice. Uh, and, and again, I can't thank this guy enough because I think what he does for the club is incredible. So, players, pl player of the year, management player of the year, Stephen Cook. <laughs> Awards we've got is a DJ Lane Award for Services to the club. Okay, so again, this much like a clubman, it's about what somebody does for the club that maybe doesn't doesn't stand out. You don't see it, you don't know what happens, but the contribution to what they do to allow us to get strips washed, to get players on park, to play wages, the contribution towards it is massive. It's absolutely huge, and. The, the person who's going to pick up this award has been involved with the club for a number of years and the contribution and the work ethic of what they've done away from the club, match days, is incredible, absolutely incredible. There is always a thought of Karnusti, whatever he's doing, whether it's um, taking the comments on social media, whether it's going around on match days, busy selling things or getting involved in things off the park. 
He's always somebody that doesn't want to be associated with the committee, and I'm not sure what that's about. However, his work away from it, away from the club, is fantastic. So the award this year, and a real prestige award, goes to the DJ Lane Service of the Common, is Nigel Riddick. Yes, So, well done, uh, Stephen Cook, and him. They also won a trophy. You greedy you guys? <laughs> <laughs> no, thoroughly deserved. I think um, all season, as you look at it, it, is a team effort on and off the park. It's you can't do things at this level without commitment. Um, and a big thank you has to go out to all the committee um, and people are associated with the committee and everybody who helps off the park because honestly the, the amount of work that goes away from just preparing games of football and training and that is huge. <coughs> and there isn't there isn't a club without the hard works of Mark Johnston, Peter, Sam, Cooties, all everybody. Names are all well, escape mates now, but these guys behave, Stephen. <laughs> but <laughs> he sometimes does the park. But it's all these people that come together collectively to allow us to try and, and, and produce what we're getting. Because without it, the club falls into abeyance and then it falls down the leagues. For us to sustain and retain our Super League status and continue to take the club forward is massive. But it's where we are as a club and where we need to take from next season we need to draw a line and we'll go it's been successful but we need to push on absolutely have to push on there's a lot of uncertainty in terms of next season and in terms of junior football um, if you've heard or you've not heard there's a east of scotland league which has taken 20 plus junior teams from the east coast of scotland to create this new 13 three, horrible three divisions yeah I mean, three, three divisions of 13 teams, so every club will have a decision to make when they've went and do that. However, we're a junior club and we'll continue to be a junior club because the heritage of us as a junior club far outweighs anything going forward. In terms of how we achieve ourselves going forward is, we keep evolving, we keep bringing through talent, we keep bringing through young players, experienced players that are maybe looking for an opportunity and we'll make the right choices to bring the right guys in to allow us to take us forward. But with any season, you'll lose players. You'll lose players and you'll lose key players. And I think what I will say is John Roberts, an absolute legend at the club. He was a player with me right from the very start. And John's going to move on for personal reasons, choices. It's, it's his choice what he's going to do. But what I would like to say to John is thank you for his contribution because he's been a good friend. He's been a fantastic player for this club. So I'd like to give John a, a, a congratulations. Is, and it's it's probably bittersweet. John picked up he's another yellow card, which means he's got a four game ban for Brody for next season. So. <laughs> 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 Can I have you? Guys, thanks very much for the support. We'll look for it again and again every year. Well done, every single one. Well done, man. Well done.